All right, so basically I've been asked uh, a couple times about what am I doing for uh, my warm-up and stretching and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so basically I give you a little rundown of what it is I'm doing right now for my off-season. Uh, me and the spin bike, that's what I like to use to warm up. I uh, used to cycle in a former life and enjoyed the hell out of it, so this is a chance for me to get on a bike and do that. Plus it's pretty brainless and I can sit and watch a movie or some shit while I'm doing it. So, while I'm doing that, usually right now, I'll do about 10 minutes, and then somewhere in the middle of that 10 minutes, I'll run a Tabata, and I will up the, uh, you know, up the um, resistance so I have to sprint a little harder, and then back it off again while I uh, relax for the 10 seconds. So that's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four minutes. Use my clock to watch the time, and use the speedometer on the bike to do that. Um, other various things I'm doing is a big pole, PVC pipe, stretching the shoulders around, every time kind of working the hands in a little bit further, and then starting to go around. This feels good, especially starting to stretch for hammer ones and warm it up. Uh, I will then start squatting with the bar on my back, really trying to sit down in the hole, stretch the knees out, uh, another thing I'm doing is using a band to help pull my hips apart. So basically, I've run a band around my hips and down around my knees. And I'm going to sit and let it try to spread my hips, pull them apart. You can also do this laying on the ground. Lay on your back, put your feet on the ground and let the bands pull on your hips, trying to open them up and get a little wider. You know, pull it in against the bands and then let it open up. So that's basically the position. So together and let the band pull it up, pull it open. Kind of like, a, like you're trying to be a scat. That's uh, how I try to feel about it. Uh, I get a lot out of both of those. Doing some ankle mobility stuff I got from Ryan and Quinn. Basically what I'm doing is wrapping a band around the side of my foot and then working it against the band to the outside up and all the way through the motion and then repeating for the other. and then going away from. The only other one I like to do is put a band on the hips and really force. All right, so, all right, so basically what I'm doing, I run a band around my dip horns. Uh, you can run them around a pole or a post or corner of your rack or whatever you're gonna need. Run it just under your butt, top of your hamstrings, and you can use that to sit down into the into it. It's going to help pull your hips forward into the squat. It's going to keep you from falling back and you can work on trying to push your hips into between your legs to work on that mobility of that movement. It's a little bit more comfortable. It's going to take some weight off and you can work from various stances and force yourself through some different move, uh, different points that you're finding uh, resistance from uh, flexibility and mobility. This is what I'm doing. This is what helping me stretch. Uh, I do some different stuff for shoulders as well when it's needed. But that is the basics. So that's what I'm doing. That is the gist of it. That is every day. It takes about 15 minutes of my workout. I run that. Do your basic shit with the foam roller. I'm not going to go over that because everyone has done a foam roller tutorial. Use those. They work great.